Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Friday the 27th of December 2019. Please keep in mind this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and this is an intuitive reading. Now I'm using the Psychic Tarot along with the Goddess Oracle, and I will be pulling from the Angel Answers Oracle as well. I will be using the Everyday Witch Tarot for your daily general messages, and at the end of your reading, I will be pulling several Gateway Oracles for you. All right. Ooh, we got Triumph. Love it. Positive, successful energy right here. This is all about your happiness. This talks about you know where you're going. Very nice. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Spirit. Friday, the 27th. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. We have quiet time. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right, so we have within the next few weeks. All right, you guys are going to have to let me know what your question was. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Angels. All right, what do we need to know? Friday the 27th. Friday the 27th, Spirit. What messages do you have for us? Ooh, and we had a couple fly out. All right. Okay. We're going to take them. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. The Ace of Wands. Four of Cups. Two of Wands. Two of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. All right, I'm really smiling here. Definitely, you guys have a, an opportunity that's coming here, and it's going to require you to make a decision. Okay? So, those of you that has already have an, that's had an opportunity or something come your way that you're needing to listen to your intuition and not doubt yourself, okay? Because you do have this Two of Swords right here. You have the number 22 and the number 44 coming through here. So this is very significant. I always say go and Google the angel number meanings because you're going to have more clarity into your situation. This is a nice offer, by the way. Whatever's being offered here, whatever opportunity this is, this is going to bring in stability and security into your situation. All right, so let's take a look here. We have triumph. All right, this is like the chariot in the major arcana of the tarot. This is the energy of cancer coming through here. This is a very powerful energy. This talks about you taking back authority and control over your situation, your circumstances. You know, you're being triumph. You're moving, you know, full speed ahead victoriously right here. Things are picking up for you. The momentum, the speed. This talks about your happiness. I feel for many of you, you are coming out of challenges and obstacles. And with this showing up here as the overall energy, you know what you want. You know where you're going. And you know how you're going to get there. So very positive. Now we do have 
quiet time coming up here. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. And like I said, check in with yourself. Go within. Pause and reflect. Because, you know, you have the Two of Swords coming up here in your reading, which represents being at a crossroads. But you're only at a crossroads because you're refusing to make a decision. And that, you know, what I'm getting here, you could be hesitating because you're doubting yourself. And as long as you take time out to contemplate what's going on within you, uh, listening to your intuition, your own inner guidance, you're going to be able to break free from being at that crossroads. And you're going to be able to come out on top. And you're going to realize once you've made the decision that it's for the betterment of your situation. Thank you, spirits. So now we have within the next few weeks coming up here. So like I said, you guys, you're definitely going to have to let me know what's going on here. Let me know what you asked. I'm very curious because your angels have answered you. This could be about a job opportunity, a career opportunity. Some of you could be moving. This could even be about a relationship. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have the Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Cups. Love it. This Four of Pentacles, okay, I, what I, how I see this right here is you looking for stability and security. Now, some of you, you may feel comfort right now. You may feel like you are at a job or you have a career and, you know, you it pays the bills, okay? It puts food on your table. You may even have, you know, I, I what I'm really getting from this, I feel like you're making enough and you may be comfortable, but it may not be what it is that your your heart's true desire is, okay? You may be wanting something else. And I really feel like this is coming from a space of deciding, you know, should I go after that dream job that I want? Should I change careers? For some of you, this is stepping into a new experience with a career that you already have. All right? Don't let doubt or fear hold you back. Just know that you can do it. Some of you are thinking about starting your own business. I feel with this coming up here. You have the power that you need and the control that you need over your situation, over your finances, to be able to maybe take that offer or step outside of your comfort zone and really go after something that's going to bring you true happiness, fulfillment. Because I'm getting, you know, I usually don't get this with the Four of Pentacles, but I feel for some of you, you feel stuck, okay? You're feeling like you're held back. You're not doing what you're meant to do. And it's up to you to be able to break free from that energy. Now, we do have the Four of Cups here. I feel like, for some of you, you had offers. And I feel like you're interested in these offers. But you just cannot make your mind up. You're overanalyzing, and this is where it's very important. This is where it's key to embody that high priestess energy that each and every one of you have, okay? Tap in to that inner well of knowledge that you hold within yourself, okay? Listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut instinct. Don't allow your mind to take control because when you do that you can overthink and overanalyze you can allow those what ifs what if this happens you really need to listen to your intuition because something's being offered here and it's a blessing because this is coming up several times in your reading you have the knight of cups as well this is something you want but you're overthinking it or you're holding yourself back Now we have the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Wands. Whether you're male or female, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. 
this is a beautiful energy. All right, and for many of you, stability and security, laying that solid, unshakable foundation is what you're after. It's what you want. Ground yourself. You know, this card right here and this energy that I'm feeling, I feel Spirit is saying, believe in yourself. Trust your intuition. Step into your power at this time. This is what you want. You're wanting to create something in your life that is going to be fulfilling, but at the same time, you know, it's you making money that's more than enough. But it also allows that creativity to come out and shine. And I'm really getting this because, you know, you have the Two of Wands clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. Spirit saying, step into your personal empowerment here. You know, what's interesting is this is right beside the Two of Swords right here. Spirit is nudging you, is telling you at this time. You're only at a crossroads with this Two of Swords over here because you need to... Break out of that doubt and that fear that you have and the limitations and restrictions that you're putting on yourself. Okay? The two of wands represents there is no wrong choice. There is no wrong decision as long as you're doing what's right for you. Okay? So if there's a new opportunity, all right, or a new path you're wanting to walk down, walk down it. If there's a door that's, you know, waiting for you to walk through it, walk through it. As long as you're doing what's right and what's just for you, you're going to be cared for. You're going to be taken care of. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. Now we have the Knight of Cups, clarified by this Two of Swords. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay? This is a blessing from Spirit. This is a cup being offered to you. Yes, it may require you to step outside of your comfort zone, but you can do it. Especially if it's something that's going to really bring you true emotional satisfaction and enjoyment. I'm really getting a sense here, you guys. This is your career. This is a job. We're starting a new business. And it's a blessing. And you're at a crossroads with it. You're the only one that's leaving you stuck at this, at this crossroads. You have all the tools that you need to be able to take the blindfold off and make this decision. If you're doubting yourself, look at that man. He's doubting. He ha he's hesitating. If you're feeling like you're overwhelmed by too much of a choice, if you've had several, you know, opportunities come up and it's overwhelming, go within. Take this quiet time. All those answers you're seeking are within yourself. But understand at the same time, I really do feel spirit is saying as long as you're doing something that that you want to do, there is no wrong decision, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Ace of Wands, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. I feel like whatever is being offered here, this is something that you have a lot of passion and desire about, okay? Okay? And I feel like it's time to take action. This is like being re-inspired to do something, to start something, to start a new journey. Many of you, this has to do with creativity. You have so much creativity to share. Some of you, this is a creative vision. And it's time to take action on it. It's time to... Create it. Manifest it into your reality. You can do it. Remember, you have triumph here. Spirit says, there's a need to move forward. Not take a step back, but to move forward. You're going to be able to move successfully. 
towards what it is that you're wanting, what you're wanting to achieve. But you have to trust and believe in yourself. With the Six of Pentacles, you know, a lot of times I always say, you know, this is talking about balancing relationships. This is talking about, I feel, you being generous with yourself. For some of you, it's hard to accept that you deserve something more. Or you deserve to go after something that you truly desire. And Spirit is saying right now, yes, you deserve it. It's time for you to be generous with yourself. It's time for you to help yourself. Instead of worrying about everybody else that's around you. Be generous with yourself. That's what I'm getting from this. And I do feel like with this coming up here with the Ace of Wands, whatever this passion, whatever this, this creativity is that's within you, that you're wanting to express, whether it's a new job or career, maybe it's moving up within a company, a new experience. This is going to bring more financial reward and gain into your situation. But you have to trust and believe in yourself. Thank you, Spirit. Remember, you're going to be triumphant. You're going to be successful, victorious. Thank you, Spirit. Inspiration. I am receiving divine inspiration right now. Yes, you are. Claim it. Flow. The glory of the universe flows through me. Yes. Fulfillment. Joy abounds in all areas of my life. Yes. All right, you all. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if this answered what you were asking. Let me hear it. I, I want to see it. I want to uh, know what's going on with you. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on here in this situation. Remember, you hold the tools and the keys to your success within you. Okay? And if you feel that doubt creeping up, or you're, you're keeping the blinders on and you're limiting and restricting yourself, go in, embody that high priestess energy, and you're going to find your true power. All right, you all. I love you guys. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.